Virgo, what is your poppy? How are you, my babies? Cousin! What's tea? Y'all see I came to y'all all studious like or whatnot. <clears throat> Throat a little itchy. Mercury retrograde on my ass with communication. You know, Mercury and Mars, they don't go together. You know, I just, oh, just be fucking it up, you know, but neither here nor there, okay? This is a bonus retrograde special video, okay? For all of the love, them views y'all showed out mid-month July, okay? Since I can't actually connect and give and, 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 and get on my best Oprah shit, you get a video, you get a video, you get a reading, and you, and you, and you, and you couldn't do that shit. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to show a little extra love and gratitude by doing a bonus video regarding what is the Mercury retrograde going to bring my verticals. What can you expect? What will they be letting go? I feel twin flame unions in the air. I usually don't get music, and I feel real extra if you didn't know. I got up this morning. I felt grand. So grand, I, I fell in love with myself in the last week, and I've been loving myself, but it's the difference between loving yourself and falling in love with yourself. Virgo, it's in the car. I see some of y'all can figure deal me. Somebody is in love with themselves, okay? And guess what? Tuh. Ain't nothing wrong with it, baby. Actually, the best feel, welcome to the other side. It's a graduation time. Y'all know y'all gotta let some shit go, all right? So we're gonna get into it. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, thank you for all of the love. If you're wondering, is she still gonna do first and 15? Yes, I am, because everybody didn't make the cut. Only people made the cut with the retrograde bone specials was Pisces, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and Taurus. If you're cross watching, you mad at me, I don't give a damn. Take a look. It's a bunch of people mad at the kids. <laughs> Block list is popping, okay? And anybody can get RSVP. All right, I love you to death, but just don't come it for me. Thou shalt not. It's against the law, you know. So, <clears throat> familia, I love you much. Let's go ahead and get this brief announcement shit out the way. Um, this is for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches of my sign of Virgo. Okay, um, this is general and may or may not apply to everybody. If you need a personal reading, please hit me up. That information is in the description. Y'all know I work hard, honey, and I work late nights, honey, late nights, early morning. So get your appointment in. I don't do the whole two, three day wait shit. We don't do that. I respond to you that day. <laughs> we try to schedule it out. If not that day, the next day, and we rock it. Okay, that's how I work. Also, um, if you're dealing with a cancer or a Leo, tell them I got a $40 special. Hooty hoo, go tell a friend, okay? Um, let's rock and roll. So, Virgos, I'm going to start off <clears throat> first and foremost with y'all angel messages. And two of them fell, and it really made my heart smile. If y'all see some smoke y'all coming, no, my damn house is not on fire. Mocha decides to burn a little sage or whatnot. You know, I had to. These energies think they ought to. I'll be damned if Papa come get me. Ain't nobody finna come touch thou. You're underneath. Whatever. If I said it wrong, me. Nobody finna. Because I, I ain't having it. Straight like that. Okay? So we finna get it. <clears throat> the first message I got for you guys is Apophilite. This, this is the uh, Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle Card deck. Okay? So I it says increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened up the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Okay? So, Virgo, I'm feeling like. If you're in a, in a place of self-doubt or feeling like you don't know which way to go, you know, if some of y'all still haven't made the decision of who getting left behind. Because, you know, you know, you finna walk into some new, new, beautiful shit, but some things and people, jobs, etc., old baby mama drunk, that shit got to stay in the background. Okay, and don't got to be closed, locked, and break the damn turning lock thing on it. I can't the, break it, okay? Shit. But with that Apophilite card, let me read you the actual angel message, okay? Increased support. This card is a wonderful sign that you're receiving increased support so that your needs are met. The support may take in the form of abundance, emotional comfort, or relief from some of your responsibilities, giving you more time to focus on your priorities. God has heard and is answering your prayers, which may involve you receiving intuition or ideas to take positive action. 
be sure to do so so that you won't miss the blessings being offered to you. These divinely guided actions could include making healthful lifestyle changes such as improving your exercise, sleep, or eating habits to raise your spiritual vibration, which will in turn attract higher outcomes. This is also encouraging for you to ask for support from God, your loved ones, or a compassionate therapist, or to join a support group. So a lot and during this time, a lot of our soul family is starting to find us, y'all. Please be receiving, receive, be receiving of love at during this time. Definitely do not be attached to any outcome. Don't put no face on your blessing or a situation on your blessing. Cause hell, you might go to the gas station and find a hundred dollars up under your damn car when you was broke in a joke. And that's also the word, the B word, let's leave that in the background. We won't even do that. B R B U V, you know what I'm talking about. Bro, we ain't got it. Yeah, that shit got to die. Okay, let that whole word die. Let try die. Let doubt die. Okay, R I P it. Because this Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde, Neptune retrograde, and this Venus retrograde is a serious deal. I -E. You understand? And so, with that, out goes the old. In comes the new. If you're unhappy about some shit, especially if you notice it's some, the same shit around the same time that was going on last year, what did you not get right last year? If it was choosing yourself and your happiness, fix that shit. Adios, amigos. I'm out. Okay? That's plain and clear. Mercury will definitely help y'all do that. Let's just hold moths. Don't kick too much ass and fist fighting. Also, Virgos, keep you cool right now. Y'all been a little woosah. That's why I came to y'all my glasses. Because see, when people talk to you with glasses, you can't get mad at them. Shit. This is uh, my studio face. Okay? Can't get mad at them. Shit. What's the glasses? Eh? Sucker duckers is what I call them when I'm in the club and stuff. I don't really go to clubs no more. But when I used to, I used to damn sure have me a nice fine pair of sucker duckers. You feel me? All right. The next card y'all have is fluoride. Okay? Natural beauty and authenticity. This is a beautiful card. I had to get it real close. It's really beautiful. You see that balance? Balance yourselves, baby, because it's here a few times. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God has made you naturally attractive and lovable inside out. Self doubt, and I say that doubt, leave it in the background. We got time for that. Y'all are beautiful, okay? Beautiful. Unconditional love. Abundant. You don't want for nothing. Gratitude is the manifested attitude if you didn't know. She sure going to find out during this retrograde, okay? So it says this is a card about feeling comfortable and happy with your natural self. Perhaps you have been trying to conform to others' expectations and lost yourself along the way. Now it's time to be you, wonderful and amazing as God created you. This may involve you speaking more authentically from your heart and letting people know your real thoughts and feelings. You may detach from people pleasing or worrying about others' approval. You may be guided to be more real in your physical appearance, such as this, sorry, I'm sorry, such as ditching your hair dye or artificial tanning, eyelashes, or fingernails. Oh, sure. Devil is, I'm going to have my nails. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a sign of embracing and loving the true self and owning who you are. This card may also be a signal to adopt a more eco-friendly lifestyle. For example, you might feel the urge to detox your diet and household supplies. You might also join an environmental organization or spend more time outdoors. It's all about being more natural. So Virgos, I'm feeling strongly. Y'all both, both of your cards have to do with eating habits. So during this time, you might want to eat more, pretty much dish the, uh, the GMO diet. You know, a lot of things that is kind of really interesting right now. Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and get into your guy because Mother Guy wanted to speak to you as well. Okay, Mother, when Mother speaks, we listen, honey. Okay, so I do see, yeah, buddy, <clears throat> a lot of y'all may have been going through some things, and I feel like some of y'all is trying to, someone is trying to come into your life and help you, okay? Some of you, some of y'all is a Sagittarius, okay? But for some of y'all, y'all needing to trust your intuition because your third eye is popping. This person has came in very passionately and have had well, some of y'all, this person has or will be igniting your fire during this Mercury retrograde. Some of y'all have not met this person. Some of y'all have, okay? If it's a Sagittarius, I definitely feel like some of y'all have had dealings with this person. But this person may be coming in during this retrograde and kind to help take some of the responsibilities off your back and actually give you a, a kind of a balance equal, to, a, a equal give and take so that you can balance yourselves, okay? Around your household duties, around your spirituality, whatever you it is that you put your passion into, okay? So I do see, bam, 
Some of y'all, some of y'all getting y'all love on. Some of y'all getting y'all love on. I didn't even tell y'all the song that was really, really beating my head down um, while I was meditating on y'all energy. And these songs been coming to me recently. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'm, I'm rolling with it, okay? But what I got for y'all is... Ooh, who would have thought I'd get you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, who would have thought I'd get you? Yeah. You understand? Some of y'all just recently ran into y'all soulmate, twin flame, life partner for a lot of y'all, okay? Because some of y'all feel like you've been trying to nurture something, especially y'all feel like you're dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or another earth sign. I feel like you've been trying to be abundant. You've been working on something, planting seeds to, for something to grow, okay? I feel like you've been grounding yourself, even if this is spiritual work that you've been doing. You've been grounding yourself. You've been aligning your chakras. You've been, you know, <sighs> see how this person is kind of bunny. You've been working on your abundance for a lot of y'all. Okay, but for some of y'all, it's definitely having to do with a relationship, all right? During the Mercury retrograde, you'll be able to see those seeds grow, baby. Okay, for a lot of y'all, especially if you're doing this around fire or earth, okay, or, or or air. But pretty much everybody's in the building, okay? I do see some of y'all will possibly be moving forward, leaving the past behind, possibly moving forward towards an air, Leo Sag, or this could be you following your passions. Leaving out the doubt, the skepticism, taking what you have and just moving forward, taking everything that you've learned and move forward, moving forward. But for some of y'all, some of y'all are moving forward away, moving forward either to or from a fire sign. Some of y'all are leaving fire or earth. Some of y'all recently met a Libra. And hell yeah, I know it's a Libra. You know, I read these cards different. I know it's a Libra because of the scales right here. This person came into your life to bring you balance, to help you balance out things and responsibilities in your life okay for some of y'all this is a twin flame okay this person may have came in very fast unexpected and really swept you off your feet while you was possibly working on a whole nother relationship or making a decision with moving forward um possibly with an earth or a fire sign okay for some of y'all y'all recently met a water sign so Pisces Scorpio baby or we'll be meeting a water sign. If you just recently met a water sign during this Mercury retrograde, y'all both will be working on making this relationship grow, moving away from your past, working out an equal give and take. There will be balance in this relationship because for some of y'all, that's y'all twin flame. For some of y'all, it's air. For some of y'all, y'all have a soulmate and a fire sign that's going to be moving away possibly from another earth sign or another fire sign and moving your way, baby. Shawty swing my way. All right. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be <laughs> receiving an offer, okay? But let's get it. Spirit, please give me the messages for Virgos. This is Mercury Retrograde. What can they expect? What is coming their way? Hmm. Some of y'all are definitely want to have your intuition on fleek. Some of y'all are very being very intuitive about a three-party situation that occurred. <laughs> some of y'all trust your intuition, okay? It's going to allow you to move away from your past because I feel like for some of y'all, this is going to be y'all walking papers that you've been waiting on. Some of y'all don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but you know you got to you know you gotta move on, okay? Some of y'all intuitively, you know that somebody's coming your way to possibly want to start over. They Both of y'all have pretty much... Gain every resource that you need. You have, you know how to communicate with one another. There's passion there. Both of y'all can help each other out financially. There's love there. For some of y'all, it's definitely going to be a Pisces. Some of y'all was in a third party situation with a Pisces. You moved away from this person. For some of y'all, y'all moving away from an earth sign due to reciprocity issues. There's no equal give and take anymore. For some of y'all, y'all been dealing with that person for eight years, eight months, um, eight weeks, but it's in the building. Some of y'all just recently met a, <laughs> and this is a new person. There's, I feel like there's a lot of passion in this relationship. And this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like some of y'all have a new relationship with a, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? That passion is going to be crazy during this Mercury retrograde. For some of y'all, y'all better be careful because babies are definitely in the building and it definitely could be um, a Libra, okay? With this Empress card here. But for some of y'all, y'all are welcoming new children. This Mercury retrograde going to bring news about pregnancy. Congratulations. Mocha love the kids, okay? Um, but, <laughs> y'all, I'm silly. Uh, but, y'all, I am feeling that... Some of y'all have been waiting to reunite with a Pisces. You feel that this person is going to be coming back from your past. And you are absolutely right. This person now wants to create with you. They're going to communicate their passion, their love for you, okay? I feel like y'all definitely got a new... Some of y'all got new love coming in during, during the Mercury retrograde from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn like yourself. Definitely water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like the communication, the love is definitely there. Both of y'all intuitively know y'all cut for one another. I feel like those secrets that, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, that's getting ready to be revealed during this next blood moon cycle, this next full moon cycle during this retrograde. Yeah, for some of y'all, some of y'all finna cut off a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I see y'all cutting off a water sign and moving to another water sign. So some of y'all could be cutting off a Cancer or a Pisces and moving to a Scorpio, but I definitely see a strong Pisces here and strong Scorpio here. But some of y'all, this is a twin flame for y'all, okay? All right. <laughs> if you thought of Aries was coming back during this Mercury retrograde, you've been dreaming about this person, you've been seeing them in the pineal, you've been having vi visualizations manifesting this person. Here they go. <laughs> Here they go. They coming, cousin. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Some of y'all going to be cutting off an earth sign and moving towards the air sign, okay? And some of y'all know y'all going to have to leave this earth sign in the past, but some of y'all, this person is trying to start over and it's confusing you because you're like, I know that this air sign is my twin flame. This this earth sign might be my soulmate, but I want a divine love. Hell, I ain't put all this work in for nothing. It's graduation time. I feel you. You have to make a choice. Somebody got to get left behind. As soon as I say, somebody got to get left behind. And for some of y'all, it's definitely going to be an earth sign. For those of you who are leaving earth, you're going to hell. For those of you who leave in fire, you go in the water. Yeah, some of y'all have been working on something for about three months, three weeks, three days with a cancer. For some of y'all, the cancer will be contacting y'all within the next three months, three weeks, three days. And this person is going to want to start over. They're going to want to work with you, okay? But for some of y'all, some of y'all trying to move away from this person and go work it out with either an earth sign or a fucking Scorpio. But all the water signs in the building. So if you're dealing with water and you thought they was, you finna get your wish. If you want a water sign to come back, and if I, I, I usually I don't put signs on it, but I'm touching this card, and the only thing I see in my pineal is watery, slippery slides. I'm seeing fish. So I'm definitely seeing Pisces. I also see a damn scorpion, so I'm definitely seeing Scorpio. I don't see cancer, so y'all could be cutting off the cancer. But for some of y'all who cutting off a damn scorpio, y'all not going to Pisces. Y'all going to cancer. Yeah, all this water, I told y'all. All this water. What is going on, my Virgo? Yeah. For some of y'all, y'all going to finally speak the truth or receive the truth. Maybe some of y'all definitely going to have hmm, this air sign. Let y'all know that you are my twin. You need to cut out what you got. You need to cut out what you got going on because I'm not going to sit up here and wait. Whoever this air sign is, baby, this air sign knows they work. They know they are a divine being, baby. Okay, so a, a, a choice is going to be made because this person, again, <laughs> you got them two cups out here. You got the lovers. You got the empress. Y'all, you can follow your heart. This may be retrograde because I'm tired of people talking. About the retrograde, bad shit, bad shit, yeah. Who wants to leave shit that you're comfortable with behind? I mean, really? Yeah, you don't want to leave that shit behind. It's a bummer. I feel you, but not all bad things are going to come from this beautiful things, new passion things. You have passionate beginners. Y'all have soulmates, twin flames coming in the building. You have to cut out what's not serving you, okay? And be optimistic. Don't don't be in your head like, oh, I know when this person come back, they just going to do hell no. Hell no. Trust your intuition. During this Mercury retrograde, that is strongly, strongly. Follow your passions. You see her third eye popping? You see them butterflies? This is new. New. Reborn. Rebirth. The Rees. Welcoming in the Rees. This is the season of the Rees. Reconnecting. Reunions. Reconciliation. Renewals. Rebirths. Repairs. Reconnects. Re. Redo's. 
Fix it, baby. Fix it. Some of y'all are definitely gonna be moving towards an air sign. But some of y'all, some of y'all gonna have a some of y'all got a Sagittarius coming for that ass, baby. And they coming with vengeance. And I feel like this person could be leaving a water sign or an air sign behind, okay? I feel like they wanna hang in there and fix it with you, okay? This could be something that you've been trying to fix for seven years, seven months, baby. And guess what? You finally get your victory! Winning season. Like I told Pisces, baby, we out to win. What are you passionate about? What is your heart telling you to go? Yeah, it's not a good time to sign no damn contracts or any of that type of shit. No, no, no. For some of y'all, y'all going to be moving away from a job that you've been hanging in there with. And I see that you got, you have a brand new one coming. As soon as you let that one go, because God is not going to bless you with the new, with that old residue still hanging on to your ass by the back of your damn pant, your little pant pocket. You get what I'm saying? When misery lock at the door, tell them you can't have no damn company during this during this Mercury retrograde season. Please protect your energy. Protect your energy. This season is called for balance. Ground yourselves, baby. Communicate effectively. Tell people. Be real with yourself, baby. During this retrograde season, be real with yourself. Is this working for me? Is my relationship fair? Do we do we carry equal weight? Am I ready to go? Do I got one foot in the door and one foot out the, already in the streets? Why am I already trying to go to my damn water sign or my, my back to my fire sign? But a lot of y'all are leaving Earth. Cancer getting dusted. I'm sorry. You're dealing with a cancer. Some of y'all, you're dealing with a new cancer. Y'all, this person wants to work on it. But if this cancer been in your life for more than four months, four months to the last four to eight years, you finna leave. Sorry. Y'all let me know in the comment section what it do do. Okay, but this is what I have for my Virgos during this retrograde period. I'll be checking back up on y'all in a few days with the generals from the first, for the first to the fifteenth. I love y'all very much, but yeah, what are you passionate about? For some of y'all, y'all want y'all Aries, Leo, Sagittarius back. For some of y'all, it's an Aries. For some of y'all, it's a Sag. A little bit of Leo in the building too, oh boy. But mostly Aries and Sag, baby. And if you want to speak up. Tell this person what you will or will not accept and tell this person what you need in your life. Look at me, realistic auntie. I get all antsy in the talking shit. But your passions. This is the season of the read. Where did you fuck up at last year? Because chances are if you just stop and really be y'all analytical sales cousin, think about it. I'm pretty sure last year around this same time, either you dealt with this person that you're dealing with and y'all separated or you didn't make the right decision. And now here this shit come resurfacing again. Same time like the anniversary of it, okay? That portal is open. You're getting a chance to ignite the re. Invite abundance in your life. And claim all new everything. Fear needs to die. Doubt needs to die. All that extra shit that's not serving you needs to die. Welcome the new, new in, baby. Because for some of y'all, y'all got somebody trying to sweep y'all off y'all feet. This person wants to be your everything, your rock, okay? You've been so used to being the one to be dependent on, okay? That a lot of y'all don't even know how to be receiving. This is the season of receiving, okay? Be true with yourself. Fuck time. Time don't make people better. If you are in observation mode and you dealing with them and you love them for the right reasons through their mistakes and you want to see them grow, and you've not already seen if it's not for you, this ain't for you a long time ago. So what you going to do? Think about it, cousin. I love y'all. If y'all need that personal, hit me up. What you mean? Okay. You better. What you waiting on? I love y'all, babies. Until them first to the 15 generals, I'm sending you love, life, the new, new, abundance, prosperity, wealth, health, unconditional love, and affection, and a whole lot of sensuality, baby, okay? Love y'all.